Greetings, goons, gangsters, gamers, and fans of combat flight simulators. We're looking at a special optic today, so another video. Um, optic wise, kind of interesting. So, generally, optic wise, we usually do reviews. You got like your EOTechs, you got your aim points, you got your Trijicons, your hollow suns, and all that cool stuff. And they all kind of, you know, generally have a basic set purpose, either they got pre etched lines. Got the LPVO uh, razors and freaking vortex optics and all that cool stuff. What was the razor? What was the EOTEC Voodoo? Yeah, that's the one I want to get my hands on at some point. You got all these cool optics, and generally they either got a little illuminated reticule, they got a little sort of like scope set up, you got your EOTEC Notorious Donut of Death, and all kinds of interesting stuff going on, or just a simple red dot to really get a good idea of how bad your astigmatism is getting. Well, actually, some of the EOTEC, I guess. Interestingly enough, I can see the EOTech clear as day, my red dot, right eye blurs top le uh, top right, left eye blurs downwards. Stick it to them. Eyeballs are weird, and uh, technology is slowly but surely sort of uh, working its way around that. With that said, um, sometimes an optic can do a little bit more than just what... Uh, give you a little, like, reference, point of, Im point of aim, point of impact sort of setup. And in that case... We're looking at something out of a uh, commie land, unfortunately, but it's kind of commie land, so you know, the technology, definitely not locally produced. <laughs> and um, interesting enough, I brought up fight simulators, flight simulators, not fight simulators, we'll get to those later. Flight simulators, because this is an optic, it's probably the first optic that I've seen outside of the whatever crazy nonsense scenario freaking M14 2.0 with the advancements of the OICW electronic optic nonsense going on. This is the only other optic I've seen that's got a built-in heads-up display. And I was like, heads-up display? Friggin' you look through this and it's like straight up playing classic Halo. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, not so much classic Halo, but you're gonna get the idea. I've rambled on for it a bit long enough. I've got it chilling here. Now, interestingly enough, being out of Kami Land, you wouldn't think you would have something named Holy Warrior since they're pretty much godless atheist, but, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> so let me uh, pop this off our little MP5 today. And yeah, so we got a nice little optic. Um, it's got a similar sort of like setup to a, it looks a bit like an EOTech, but you know, it's not really an EOTech going on there. You get a little numbers and stuff, but I'm guessing, I mean, China did come out with the, um, Hollow Sun Optics, and people have been putting out uh, good words about those. Um, outside of them, like, mysteriously getting turned off for no reason whatsoever. If you look at this guy, I guess it's more like a really, like a large RMR, if you think about it. But if you look on through here, you'll notice something rather peculiar. And that is that you've got an entire, oh, look at that, too. It does the EOTech distance ordeal. Yeah, you got a whole heads-up display. This says up display is giving you elevation, um, roll to the current temperature in Celsius, 24 degrees Celsius in this room with the AC. It is like 35 outside. It's bad. You go ahead and you can jam those numbers in your keyboard. What is that? What's that in Fahrenheit? What's that? In, uh, uh, numbers people normally actually live by and use. Because, uh, you know, everyone, some people only live overseas long enough and they start to really get into. Uh, metrics and you know oh yeah everything's uh divisions of 10 like wow metrics that's so cool divisions of 10 that's really easy to use now tell me a uh, metric date and metric time yeah so if you look on three years so we got yeah you get the, the sort of like elevation ah it's gonna be hard to do elevation on the side there you see the little bar rolls up and down um the one on the side gets you your roll and of course, you've got your directions. So that is north, and directly ahead of the camera is northwest at 327 degrees. Now, how accurate is that? I did use my fancy, was it the Kamehagen, whatever, freaking, it's not Kamehagen, something with a C, the cool military compass. And it's not that bad off. I mean, you probably wouldn't get the most accurate land nav, but it gives you a really good idea, so. All those cool kids who like playing, they're super fast, running, shooting games, they go, oh yeah, contact 315, and it's a easy sort of way to do this. Now this is uh, marketed almost extensively as uh, just airsoft, that would make sense, I'm sure there's lots of battery draining 
fragile electronics and stuff in here. But I mean, I'm sure Gentex isn't too upset that they uh, took the technology <laughs> and did what they did here. So I just thought, when I saw this, I was like, an entire heads up display? That's um, pretty interesting. I think I get a better view from what's over here, yeah. It's hard to tell, this tiny little camera screen doesn't tell me how well you guys can see all that, but it's pretty cool floating around there. It does only come in blue, so if you're trying to like shoot things in the sky, it might blend in unless you got like really nice dark clouds to mount it off of, or nighttime I guess, but yeah, of course if you look into the front, since there's a cheaper one, you got the whole display back there. So like coming up on the screen, doing its whole screen stuff, and, you know, like you do. Um, simple little attachment system. Metal seems relatively cheap, so yeah, I wouldn't trust it for much more. Uh, even airsoft, even then, who knows? So yeah, you got a battery. Battery uses a Sierra 123. So I do like optics that use 123. The uh, little button batteries—they're not bad, but I just prefer these. It's personal preference. Got a lot of these lying around doing nothing. As far as the battery life, it says it's gonna be like up over 80 hours, but. How true is that? Um, it's pretty optimistic. So how much stuff it's calculating around displays. So if you press the power button once, you get another sort of little setup where you get your little um, elevation increments. Um, 1.7 meter nonsense going on. And uh, yeah, similar display, but this one doesn't do all the other things. Doesn't have the same pop, yawn, roll, and all that stuff going on. Press it again, and you get just a optic so just your little dot so if you want it super simple there you go of course when you press the power onto this thing it does do a whole startup system there's a little I'm guessing a mini operating system and all that software stuff going on so things to be knowledgeable about and if you press your list you can adjust your aim up and down side to side and you can even choose your own favorite uh, reticule so that's pretty cool so I uh, a little battery notification, wherever you want that to work, it's weird. But you press the power button again to go back to normal. Um, you can adjust the brightness with up and down. Arrows on the side, you can make that really faint. Depending on how bright it is. But yeah, it's a cool little, cool little things going on there, so, you know. I was thinking with the whole... Remember the army doing all their cool army stuff, they're probably developing optics that do... Well, your ballistic calculators and all that other cool, useful stuff. Some of this, I mean, the compass... It's decently nice, but you're generally going to know which direction you're facing anyway, so not too much to worry about. You're probably not going to be navigating with your rifle. And uh, the people I have seen navigate with their rifles, they uh, have a compass like taped to it. So, you know, why worry about batteries when you already got a perfectly functional mechanical system? Unless you also like can't drive stick shift. <laughs> Ooh boy, so yeah, I just, I saw this site. I was like, oh, that's an interesting little piece of technology going on. So I want to do a video on this. Not so much to, like, praise the object. You know, oh, yeah, look what, uh, look at that cool technology they recently, uh, I guess they say borrowed. Borrowed's the word they like to use. Uh, uh, yeah, found. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Gentex might be concerned. Uh, but, yeah, so, of course, it's made in um, PRC. Next, probably next, right next to the Holosun factory would be my best guess. I don't know where this company is, but start shipping these guys on out. And um, yeah, I even found this on Japanese Amazon for dirt cheap. It was like 120 bucks. And I was like, you know what? I'll get it because I want to do a review and be like, hey, look, look at that really weird stuff this thing does with compasses and stuff. Now, of course, I did set it on a table, as you know, big brain. I want to see how much. Um, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, astigmatism. What's that word? You, you know the word. You know, this, that. this is the joys of doing everything live, is uh, you forget all these words. The uh, tsh, the shift. Oh, I was just using the word. I used the word all yesterday when I was talking about this to one of my buddies. But uh, yeah, the whole focal shift of everything when you got like just sitting on the table. And yeah, it, anything greater than I'd say 25, optimistically 50 meters. And you just move your head to the side, you take the reticule right off the target. The parallax, parallax. Big brain, many words, many folds. <laughs> so, parallax is particularly bad on this thing. But, um, yeah, like, I'd imagine if you don't have, like, perfect sight alignment, you're going to be freaking, which you shouldn't need with reflex sights and stuff. But, yeah, it's not there. Rounds are going to be going everywhere. 
I'm sure it's going to kill the battery in no time, but it's interesting to see an update. I haven't seen any other updates that's uh, what the Army's working on that's doing all this cool heads-up technology. Make you feel like a fighter pilot behind the rifle, so that part was pretty cool. Getting the right... It doesn't take too much eye relief. I'm just getting it set up on the perfect angles. The only real trick going on, so... As far as that, you throw that on there and you can get your whole decent field of view. Once you have it set at a decent eye... Ooh. It shouldn't wobble either, but you know. Like I said, not a... Uh, not very compliant, so you get what you pay for. But yeah, it, um... It's always interesting. It'll be like, oh yeah, that hill over there is 350 degrees and all that cool stuff, so... Interesting little optic, and it comes with little screen protectors, so very much airsoft orientated, so you don't get your lens blasted out. Who knows how durable? Hopefully, the glass is more durable than uh, classic iPhones, or I guess even modern iPhones. They've gotten better, but they're still not perfect. So, that's pretty much the whole video. I just wanted to like take a look at this cool optic and be like, hey, look at that cool stuff. I wonder where they got the technology. All right, so that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Um, if you guys have any like particular questions about the optic, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really trust it all that much. But interesting stuff, because I mean when people look through their optics, it's nice to I mean the compass, I like the compass idea. The pitch and yaw, eh, if I was like using a huge tires on a Jeep to navigate over rocks, it could be more useful, but eh, not terrible. But really just um the directional compass I think is the coolest part. Temperature do we really need to know the temperature? You usually feel the temperature before you need to know what the temperature is. And of course, like, the memes are going on with the Army's rifle optic. Trying to engage, uh, return fire on a target and your optic won't stop telling you what the current humidity is. So, maybe sometimes it's better to keep it simple. But, that said, compass, compass is cool. I like the compass idea. Until we can get the cool ghost recon. Your eyepiece gives you all your cool tactical readouts and data. Until those days. This is a cool little thing that I... I mean, you're seeing it now for Airsoft, which is interesting. Because it works its way in Airsoft. And then I get the feeling... Ooh. That tonight is going to be a good night. But that aside, I also get the feeling... That once you start seeing stuff like this, when it's being made not too far from uh, the Holosun factory, that may be somewhere in the near to foreseeable future, you might start seeing a similar optic coming out that's built a bit more ruggedized, and all the cool influencer kids can start doing their videos on it then, so. But yeah, in the meantime, just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully you guys thought it was pretty cool. If you have any like particular questions about it, I might just let the battery run for hours on end and see how long it takes to kill it off because the worst thing you can have is needing your gun be like, oh no, I need to engage. Oh, hold on, let me... And he's still a startup bar. Actually, let me, uh, let me show you guys that. That was pretty interesting. You pop this guy off again. And if you hold down... Let's get a good angle. Yep. Hold down the battery button. Pew! <laughs> Shuts down like friggin' old school TV style. You press, hold it down, turn it on. Yeah, you get a little low goal and boop, boot up. It's not a terribly long time, but you know, for uh, I'm sure someone, at least hopefully comedically, but also probably honestly, is gonna be like, oh my god, my optic needs to boot up. I'm gonna die in the meantime. Ah, so then again, you could be you could be particularly bad, and you could um. You could be running a freaking oh, what the hell is it called? An Olight freaking flashbang grenade and be like, oh no, home invaders! My uh, gun's plugged into the wall, still charging my light. I gotta go and plug my gun. All right, I'm done. I'm done trolling for today. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions or curiosities about this optic, feel free to hit me up. And if in like six months to two years, uh, you start seeing the name brand influencers with ruggedized hollow suns that tell them directional stuff then uh i called it and i um i don't know i, I want my credit and recognition <laughs> cheers everyone stay safe stay chivalrous and um i will catch you guys in the next video i've got a list of things i want to get done i've got a few interesting things on the way so when those get here we're gonna have a good time cheers everyone i'll catch you in the next video